We're gonna make a stop to grab some coffee and then some breakfast and then hit up some of the iconic monuments like the Alexander the Great statue, the house of Mother Teresa, or I guess the home, the memorial, the something to do with her, and they'll do some other things as well. Yeah. We tried to go for coffee, was not open, so we're gonna get it where we're getting breakfast, which is at a place called District. Uh, they have an indoor portion as well as an outdoor patio, which is pretty nice. Right now, we're in the main city square area, which is actually pretty cool. You have a giant statue of Alexander the Great right here. You have a couple cool buildings. You have more statues. Let's go this way. You have just like a bunch of statues. You have cool buildings. You have cool buildings behind me. You have even more statues. And there's a bridge which goes across the river. And this area may be known as the city of statues. And I can see why, but I need to confirm for sure whether it's true or not. So let's check back on that later. Something else to be able to check out would be the stone bridge, which is this one right here. But we're going to go across the one that looks a little more fancy, which is this one. You also have the option of riding on a pirate ship. And this bridge was built in 2013 to honor historians within Macedonia, but also worldwide, like ancient Greek figures. But a lot of them have been banalized, so it's hard to tell. Across the bridge, you run into more statues. You also have the fortress, and you also have like a mini fortress. And there's different kinds of museums which are over in this area, like the archaeological museum. <laughs> kind of weird is that like it's super bright out, uh, but it's also raining on us. So, I'm, I'm not sure how to take that. So we're now making our way over to the Old Bazaar, which is different than the Grand Bazaar, which is what you'll find in Istanbul, Turkey, but probably the same concept. <laughs> the Old Bazaar here is just an outdoor market, which goes back to the 12th century. You have different sections. You'll have like your clothing section, uh, your wedding dress section, the electronic section. And the area looks pretty lively with locals and it's not just a tourist thing and this looks like where people would do a lot of their shopping as well. Because this city has only had independence for 30 years or so, the city very much feels like it's in transition from an old regime to a new regime and I know that 30 years sounds like a long time but you are starting to see some of the newer buildings with the westernized coffee shops or foods or drinks but you still have some of your older buildings which are more run down as well. As I was talking about with the different kinds of history here you even kind of find like a microbrewery. Something which I also find interesting about being here in Skopje is that this is the first place we've seen some American restaurants. Like you have a KFC here, you have a Burger King, you have a Domino's, which out of all the places we've been, I guess I'm kind of surprised that this is where you'd find it. You may be wondering why did they have London style double decker buses here? Like. Here's why. The reason they have the double decker buses is in honor of London when they donated buses to the city when it had an earthquake in 1963. That earthquake was so big that it killed over a thousand people 
and actually destroyed over 80% of the city. They then try to find some of the greatest architects to rebuild the city. And during that era, there was a lot of brutalist buildings being built, which is characterized by the concrete slabs, which is why there's a lot of those around the city now. When I talked about the brutalist architecture, this is a perfect example where you just have the concrete. Mother Teresa is from North Macedonia, and this is a house which is in her honor. The house is free to enter, but we may go in on a different day because I'm not super interested, but we may check out what's inside. And they also have a Arc de Triomphe, like the one in Paris or nearby Washington Square Park, right here. You also have what looks like the charging pole in New York City. It is a rainy Sunday morning. We're going to find some coffee and some breakfast, but one of the challenges we're noticing is that a lot of things aren't open on Sundays or and open later, like at 9 or 10, which is kind of late for us. The city also looks pretty empty as you're going around because there's no cars, there's not a lot of people walking. So I'm not sure if that's because it's raining or because it's Sunday or because it's just too early. And we've gained a wolf pack. Uh, we've gone by two bakeries with no luck. We still have our dogs with us. So we're just gonna keep on going. Not quite sure what to do about that. Well, here we've been having a lot of westernized food, and so now try to make a first stop to get some of the local food. And as I spoke about, with the rain, now it's raining out, so oh, we're gonna try to move quick. One of the things that we were supposed to do when you going on our tour yesterday was to take a cable car up to the Millennium Cross, which we weren't able to because of everything that's still going on. And the cross is like a massive 60 foot plus statue, or yes, cross, which is on top of the Bodno, the Bodno Mountain. Yesterday, we walked on the base of the fortress, but now we're gonna walk through it. We'll hopefully be able to see the cross better and to try to avoid the rain that's coming, it looks like. Thanks so much for watching and hope you guys have a better idea of what to do and if you want to see some more travel videos then you can check out my channel page or if you want to be around for when I post my next video do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.